Hey guys, this is Eric ABX Picker. Once again, back with another Watch Your Picking interview. I'm here with Shad Juice. Mike. Hey, what's up guys? Yeah, see, so we're, we're checking out today what Mike's got picking here. Hey guys, here today with Shad Juice, Mike, and uh, man, we're we're here talking about and learning about what he picks. Uh, so, Mike, how long you been doing this thing, and and what you into? Kind of give a little introduction. All right, for uh, well, I've been going to flea markets and thrift stores probably my whole life. I grew up doing that with my dad. But it was never like the resale or anything. That's just something he liked to do. And he collected beer signs and all that. So, but for reselling, I'm part-time. I work a full-time job. Uh, probably got heavily in the full and the reselling probably about three or four years ago. And uh, most of the stuff I like to buy is just like video games, action figures, electronics, old toys, just anything that'll make a buck. So what are some things that you're looking for when you're going out picking? Like what are some things that you're into that you know a little bit about that you that you want to find when you go out? All right, some of my favorite things to find is for sure video games. And I'm really into media. I like looking at DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff and old VHS tapes. I've made a lot of money off of that stuff over the years. And most people just kind of just don't even pay attention to it, which is good for me. Um, like looking for old hats, old action figures, just any retro toys from the 80s and 90s. Just obscure stuff I found, you know, obscure toys that nobody even look at. That's worth $100 and I pay a quarter for. So, mostly just older toys and games and media. That's what I'm into. Yeah, for me, I mean, I, I look at stuff and everything has value if you know what you're looking for. So, when right. you talk VHS, like obviously we're not talking about the old uh, Disney Black Diamond. Never. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is hundreds. Of, you know, like people sell them for ten thousand dollars. Obviously not real, but we we see that. So, but the other thing, there are certain VHSs that I know have more value than others. Yeah. Um, is there is there specific ones that you found a lot over the years that you're like, um, man, that's unreal. It's definitely like oddball stuff you've never heard of is a good way to look at stuff. Old horror VHS, mm -hmm. wrestling for sure. Definitely the old wrestle, wrestling pay-per-views and stuff do good. Um, like really popular sealed movies. Say like you found E.T. or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sealed. You could probably get 30 bucks for them at least. Nice. Um, if you find good movies that are old Blockbuster rentals in the original Blockbuster case... Like I sold a Godzilla one not that long ago for forty bucks. My wife. It was just in a plain that. blockbuster case with Godzilla on it. I mean, people look for that stuff. She's so. a she's a Godzilla collector. My wife, so she likes uh, too. she likes Godzilla. <laughs> she likes them old movies. I was like, she was like, you don't watch this. I was like, I don't know. But that uh, it is it is interesting to see because most people it's crazy you go thrift stores are chock full of VHS right people are pulling that stuff out like oh this stuff's you know like whatever but so that is a, a kind of a low barrier entry right when you're looking right. out for VHS you're not paying a whole lot for this I mean shoes. they're dirt cheap I mean you yeah. hardly ever pay any more than a dollar for them so. Yeah, and another thing, like you, you had mentioned hats, and you know, hats is one of my things that I'm into as well. Yeah, and I I ask for hats like people ask for video games. So I mean, yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. It's like, hey, do you have any? And I like, haven't I haven't tried to ask for hats before. But. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, people dig them out, man. It, it's kind of. I also like looking for records, but that's another thing that everybody goes around and asks for yeah, too. Yeah, but I'll ask here and there. You never know. Yeah, I, now let me ask you as you're talking about that because we're talking about picking. So when you're out picking, you are asking at these sales and are people responding? How do they respond? Um, I, I usually try to ask, but sometimes I don't. I just kind of kind of get a feel for what's going on there if I even want to ask. But you should ask. I mean, if you're, there's things that you're specifically looking for, it doesn't hurt to ask. You might not ever see these people again. Worst they can say is no, or you're the tenth person that asked me. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, what's the worst can happen? You're shooting your shot. Yeah. You might. 
I mean, I've got some of my best scores from asking people for mm -hmm. sure. So that, there's nothing wrong with doing that. They might have never even thought about bringing it out to their outside. You know, sure. they're like, who would want that? Like, yeah. I've had so many people wouldn't think nobody wanted old video games. Yeah. And to us, that's crazy. But to them, you know. Yeah, I can tell you, man, I've, I've run into recently some thrift stores out my way who said they were throwing old video game systems away because they could yeah. not test them. I, I, my heart hurt just a little bit when I heard that. <laughs> so I did I, give them my the phone number. Before. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. So when you think about uh, out there picking, right so the, the best place for you picking is, what, what would you say? Oh, definitely garage sales. Um, I do a little bit of a flea market. I got a couple favorite thrift stores I like going to. But most of them are so damn expensive anymore, it's not even worth messing with. So. Yeah, yeah. I was in Goodwill today. I was shocked that they're, uh, they're taking dollar store items and selling them for $3 instead <laughs> of one. Which Goodwill was that? <laughs> I've been near where uh, Pickwell Reseller, I think in Pickwell is where we were at. Yeah, Goodwill's in really there. bad in this area. If yeah. you want to find like electronics and video games, yeah, not very scarce around here. All this stuff goes straight to auction. Yeah. As so we're in here at kind of the office space of, of Shad Juice, and one of the things I noticed when I came in here was all the Hot Wheels set up there. And, you know, we always like to ask uh, fellow pickers, like some people pick to collect, some people pick to flip. Uh, we all have different things. Maybe you're picking for gifts for other people. Um, Shad Juice has, uh, you know, all these Hot Wheels. So let's, let's talk a little bit about that. So obviously at some point, if even if not now, you were big into collecting, so let's yeah. talk about um, When I first, my first videos on YouTube are Hot Wheels videos. I did them for a couple of years. I go to the stores hunting for treasure hunts and all that stuff. And, you know, just collecting them at the flea markets and yard sales. Now, I used to just go to yard sales looking for Hot Wheels. Mm. And then when I got out of the Hot Wheel game, I moved on to video games. And that's how it's kind of trickled then. Then I kind of... Was, like, man, I was just wasting my time looking for video games, so I started buying other things. But we can look at the Hot Wheels here. I got, most of these are like vintage or super treasure hunts. If you can see like all these right here, original red lines. Oh, that's awesome, man. Like these two, these two right here, a buddy gave to me. Them are fresh out of a pack, like from the 60s. And uh, these are super treasure hunts. I customized that one, put it on a different base. Man. Um, just some of these, like that's a super treasure hunt dots, and that's worth over a hundred bucks, just wow. loose. Some of these are highly valuable, but yeah. I used to be really in, big into collecting Hot Wheels, so. Yeah, that, that's one of the I things. I still like to pick them up here and there, but I just, not, not, <laughs> not on the I scale the you were. No. Yeah, so I mean, that's that's one of the things I know, you know, when we talk about picking, there is tons of people that pick and they, they have a collection. They have something they like. I always joke, people, they ask me oh, if I I'm tons a... tons of collections. <laughs> yeah. They ask me if I collect. I was like, I do. I collect it until it sells. And if I like it, I just price it higher. That's kind of what I do. But, yeah. yeah. But other people have, you know, like display things that they, that they like. I have a couple things myself. Um, but yeah, that, that's really cool, man. Like those, you those want to show him that autograph, Mike Tyson. Yeah, right for sure, man. Mike Tyson's punch out. I saw this on IG, <laughs> man. That thing is awesome. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things. Uh, so we're in here with Shad Juice, man, and uh, gosh, bro, I'm, I'm actually almost speechless at the amount of video game stuff that's here. So, you know, he's talking about picking and collecting. So how long, man, if, if you were to take a gander in here, like how long have you been picking this kind of stuff? Uh, for the video game stuff, probably about six years, maybe. Awesome, man. I had, I'm not actively collecting it anymore, but mm. I have a mass... A decent collection um yeah so i got 
bunch of NES, Super Nintendo stuff, and all this stuff is here is personal collection and stuff. There's stuff down here, you know, this is back stock for eBay yeah, and stuff. Yeah. So it's not really set up to hang out in at the moment. But, Man, yeah. guys, I, I'm just going to give you a little pan shot of what he's got in here. And man, it is, it's impressive. I'll just tell you, it's impressive. <laughs> like I, I know people that might be having some heart palpitations if they came in. Uh, if you didn't notice, I'm a big fan of the doors. Yeah, the yeah. <laughs> Dude, I had a bunch of records. I wish I'd have known I'd have brought I got some, still have some. Yeah, so, you know, Godzilla, my wife's into Godzilla. Obviously games that are still in the boxes. That's amazing. Yeah, I was yeah. on a big kick for boxed NES games for a long time. Oh, uh, yeah. Probably have around 200 of them. Yeah. And uh, the best game I ever found, I found Little Samson off a of Craigslist deal. Ooh. I paid like 150 bucks for the deal. And when he sent me pictures and I seen that in the picture, I it was, that was like the most emotional I've ever got because he sent me the picture and then he said, uh, oh, everything's for sale except Little Samson. Oh, <laughs> and, and when he was saying that, I wasn't around my phone. And then I guess since I didn't respond, he said, "Okay, I'll leave that in there." Oh my gosh! So this whole time I'm driving to this this deal, yeah, shaking, like you like, know, just it's there. It was so it's, much yeah. emotion. It's on my YouTube channel. It's oh, been man. a few years, but hey, guys. So speaking of YouTube, uh, Shad Juice obviously is on YouTube. We're going to be dropping his link down below. And man, this. It, it, collection he's got in here i must span just a little bit further around and see uh, you will see i mean obviously cincinnati bingo fan we're yeah. we're here in the area yeah. so it's one of those things that it's kind of like hate on me it's kind of messy yeah here, yeah. But, hey. yeah yeah got the halo helmet man got the n64 boxes super nintendo obviously a little funko going on uh some more halo some more boxed uh stuff man just awesome collection really it, it is pretty impressive and to think like we've been talking this whole time about what you're picking like so the possibilities are endless if you look for it yeah you know? i mean all this stuff's pretty much free from flipping stuff yeah you know i get a lot of games you flip what you don't want and the rest of the stuff's usually there free. yeah so there you go anybody can do it if you put in the time and effort it's harder nowadays a masses collection when yeah, i started yeah. it was a little bit easier but right. it's definitely become way harder as yeah. you guys know so yeah man it, it's, but it's possible you can sell a bunch of a bunch of clothes and get the money to buy these stuff you want right you know? right yeah there's Whatever plenty, you gotta do plenty of you guys doing it man it, it is it is this is really cool so all right guys so man what a great time hanging out with shad juice today uh, learning what he's picking and uh, man if i'm not blown away he's picking some pretty awesome stuff <laughs> i'll just tell you <laughs> I like, try, it, I try. It's, it's pretty <laughs> impressive so uh Shadjus, man what's one thing that you would pass on to fellow pickers like if you could give them a tip uh i give them a tip don't get the scourge it's easy to get the scourge if you're not out finding something just keep hunting, man. Your day's coming. You might see other resellers around you finding good stuff, but everybody has their day. There's plenty of resellers around here, so I see it all the time. Like last week, I picked up some great video game stuff, and five minutes later, Ready, Set, Resell came by. Hey. It's just the way the game goes, man. Just That's keep it. hunting. Don't get discouraged. Your day will come, and you'll find some good stuff. Hey guys, so thank you for joining another episode of What You're Picking. I've got Shad Juice links here in, in the uh, description of this video. So make sure you're subscribed to him. Find out what he's up to when he's out there picking. I do appreciate you guys watching. And as, as always, man, What You're Picking. I hope you find some great picks out there. And good luck to you guys. Good luck, guys. And thanks for stopping by, man. It was nice hanging out with All you. All right, cool.